cells. We're going to do that with a mill script. I'm going to come over here to my script editor, open that up. I've just cleared the history on it from any previous session, and I'm going to go ahead and load up a script. So this is a diamond control that we're going to use in this case. All right, so there's the script right there, making a diamond curve. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of that, hold down the control key, hit enter on the keyboard, and there it is right over here. Let's go ahead and move this over. And I'm going to go ahead and line that up with the knee. So I'm going to hold down the V key and just snap that into position. All right. Let's pop that over there. Okay, so it's a little large. Let's go ahead and scale it down. All right. And then I'm just going to move it out in front of the knee, about uh, the distance of the foot. And we can probably scale it down just a little bit more. If you want to look at what I've done here, you can see I'm at uh, 0 0.186. Okay. So we need a, another join over here, so I'm just going to duplicate this one. Control D. And then I'm going to group it. This is just a little trick to get the pivot point to move over to the center here of origin so that we can put in a negative one over here and just pop that over to the other side so it's placed uh, exactly opposite of the other one. All right, and then we can go into the outliner and just ungroup that. So here's our group right there, just something temporary. I'm going to just drag that out of it, get rid of the group. Okay, so we've got our two knee controls now, diamond shape. And we're going to pull constrain these to the knees. I'm going to select the knee control first, shift select the IK handle, and under constrain I'm just going to select pull vector. And you can see the connection is made right there. Same thing over here. Shift select the IK handle and pull vector. All right. So now if we grab this and move it around and see our knee it's moving properly and okay let's go ahead and rename these left knee control and I'm just going to highlight this control C to copy it select the other one on the right side control V to drop that in there and just change that to right. Enter. Okay, let's go ahead and color code them now. I'm going to go to the attribute editor with control A, select the first tab, and we're under uh, display, drawing overrides, enable overrides. We'll check that and then we can select a new color for it. Select that same blue. Actually, that's a little bit lighter blue. Let's get that darker one. There it is. And we're pink on the other side here. So enable overrides. And we'll just scroll down to that pink color. With our knee controls color coded, let's go ahead and clean them up a little bit here. I'm going to select them both and come under Modify, Freeze Transforms. You can see under the channel box it zeroed everything out. And now what we can do is go ahead and select the left one. I'm going to click and drag all the way down from rotate all the way down to visibility. Right mouse click and say lock and hide selected. Get rid of those. As well as this one over here. Lock and hide selected. Okay, and we are pretty much done with the knees now. And we're going to move on to the upper body. And we'll do that in the next lesson.